YouTube, what is going on? Brandon here with another printer video. Today we've got the Epson Photo R280. Basically, if you're having any issues with your print quality, um, your print quality just is diminished or a certain color isn't printing out, this is a method you can go ahead and use, which I'm about to show you, where you can go ahead and clean the print head uh, cheaply and expensively and quickly. Um, so you're going to need a few items. So we'll get go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to want to have um, some isopropyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol or print head cleaner, which you can get on Amazon.com. Um, you're also going to need a syringe. So I'm going to leave a link in the description below where you can get a uh, syringe print head cleaning kit where it's going to have a print print head cleaner and a syringe, uh, which actually has a better fitment than this. This is actually just a generic one. So if you go ahead and go in, down to the link below, you're going to be able to see that link. Also, if you are uh, running low on your ink, this one currently, I took out all the ink already. But if you are running low on your ink, that could be causing it. So you're going to want to go ahead and change your ink. I'm going to leave a link for that as well um, so that you can go ahead and get that done. Now, the first thing you're going to want to go ahead and do is you're going to want to have a paper towel cut this one in half it was a full one you're gonna want to go ahead and just fold it up just like that and get it right under there all right so once it's under there now I'll show you it's right under there so get it directly under and then you're gonna go ahead and open this up you're gonna go ahead and grab your syringe and you are going to go ahead and go over each nozzle okay spraying spraying down the ice profile alcohol Okay, just like that, and you're gonna do that to each one. Now, if it's just a specific color that you're having issues with, you can go ahead and just focus on that one, uh, but you're gonna wanna go over all of them for the most part. So that should go ahead and you know, clean up the dry ink, which builds up in the print head. You can go ahead and do this two or three times at the most. After that, uh, you're kind of just wasting time. It could be so clogged to the point where you can't. Uh, you can also warm up the solution that you end up getting with the kit that you buy on Amazon, which I'm going to link in the description below. Uh, so it's it's very simple. It's very easy. Once you're done, just make sure um, you dry everything down before you put the ink back in. And uh, from there, you can go ahead and uh, print your test page. So there are two links in the description below. I'm also going to leave a link to this printer just in case you're wanting to buy a new one. You can go ahead and do that as well from amazon.com don't be afraid of buying used printers uh, or new ones um, that are this you know this model there's plenty of them out there that are uh, that are currently working and you can use the same ink I'm sure you have a lot of leftover ink and which is why you're wanting to fix this printer um, so that's one option another option is there's some upgrading you can do I'll leave some other printers that are either less or more expensive upgrading or downgrading um, that you take this similar ink so that you can if you're wanting to move up or move down you can go ahead and do that as well so that's all for now if you have any questions at all go ahead and comment below uh, make sure to like and subscribe as well thanks for watching and until next time